Question number two from the International A-Level Pure Mathematics 2 specimen paper um, for the Edexcel. This is a new syllabus and um, we're here answering a question about finding the area under a curve. So it says, in this question, uh, you must show all steps of your working because um, you can answer this question in your calculator straight away if you if you want to. So all steps should be shown, otherwise you'll get no marks. Solutions relying on calculator technology are not acceptable. Okay, because you could actually answer this question directly from just typing some buttons in your calculator, but you won't get any marks what they're telling you. So you can use your calculator to check to make sure you got the right answer at the end. But and I'll show you how to do that. But you should show all your steps so you know exactly what's happening. So it says a curve has this equation y equals 2x times root x minus 16 over x squared minus 6x plus 9 and x is greater than 0. The curve crosses the x axis at the point 4, 0. And it says the finite region R shown shaded in figure 1 is bounded by the curve, the x axis, and the line with the equation x equals 9. Find the exact area of R. So basically, we're going to find this area here of R, um, which is bounded by the curve, the x-axis, and the line x equals 9. So in order to find the area under the curve, from what's below the curve until the x-axis, or between the curve and the x-axis, you have to find the integral of the equation of the curve, okay, and substitute the x values as limits um, of the region where you want to find the area of the curve. That's basically what we have to do. Okay, so let's get ahead and get on with it. So before we can actually start integrating this, we have to get this ready for integration. We have to get it ready for integration. And to do that, what we have to do is express these as single uh, x terms in index form. Anything that's written as a denominator should be as a numerator. Anything that's in third form should be written in index form. So we have to basically get this changed from the state it's written in now into a state that's easy for us to integrate. So I'm going to write this as, this is 2x times x to the power of a half, I can combine these together, minus 16x to the power of minus 2, minus 6x, that's fine, plus 9, that's fine. So just have to combine these together. Remember, this is x to the power of 1. You add the powers, so that's 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 16x to the power of minus 2, minus 6x plus 9. Now we are ready to integrate this. We're going to integrate it between the limits of 4, between the limits of 4 and 9. And we're going to integrate 2x to the power of 3 over 2, minus 16x to the power of minus 2, minus 6x and plus 9, okay, with respect to x. Now, when you integrate something like this, okay, once you've, once you've started integrating, you don't write the integral sign anymore. Okay, now, I need to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So I've got 2x. Now, if I add 1 to the power, I'm going to get 3 over 2 plus 1, which is 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2, which is 5 over 2. So I have to divide this term by 5 over 2. Then I've got to add 1 to this power. Now, minus, minus 2 add 1 is minus 1. So it's going to be minus 16x to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1. And I have to add 1 to this power, so it will be 6x to the power of, now remember this is to the power of 1, it comes to the power of 2, divided by 2, plus, now when you have a constant, it becomes 9x, which becomes, you just have to add x to it, because it's like x to the power of 0, it's not written, you add 1 to the power, you get x to the power of 1, divided by 1, and we normally would put plus c, but we don't have to here, because we have these, limits of 4 and 9 to put in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it on the next page. Okay, and then we'll continue. Okay, so now let's continue with this. Let's just simplify this. So this is like, when you divide by 5 over 2, it's like multiplying by 2 over 5. So this is like 2 fifths times 2, which is going to be 4 fifths times x to the power of 5 over 2. This is going to become a minus divided by minus is plus 16x to the power of minus 1, which you can actually write 
better as 16 over x to the power of 1 which is 16 over x um, and this is going to be um, 6 divided by 2 which is 3x squared and this 9x is fine and now we're ready to put these values of 9 and 4 into here and evaluate the answer okay let me just multiply that but that's, that's 5 over 2 here okay so this is like the uh, square root of x to the power of 5 so let me just put the values in, in that way so you got 4 fifths now instead of x I'm going to put 9 and this is like the square root of 9 to the power of 5 okay the square root the denominator is the root and the numerator is the power plus 16 over 9 minus 3 times 9 squared plus 9 times 9 minus and then I'm going to put 4 into this so I have 4 fifths times you're going to have the square root of 4 to the power of 5 plus you're going to have 16 over 4 minus 3 times 4 squared plus 9 times 4 9 times 4 okay so let's see what that gives us that's going to be um, 4 fifths times the square root of 9 is 3 3 to the power of 5 3 to the power of 5 is I think it's 243 yep 243 plus 16 over 9 minus 3 times 81 uh, 3 times 81 which is also 243 plus 9 times 9 which is 18 81 sorry minus and you're going to have 4 fifths times and this is f the square root of 4 is 2 2 to the power of 5 is 32 to the power of 5 is 32 16 over 4 is 4 minus 3 times 16 which is 48 plus 9 times 4 which is 36 okay so I'll just plug all this in my calculator now to get the final answer which is perfectly fine okay all our steps have been shown we can just plug this into our calculator now so we have four fifths uh, times two four three plus 16 over nine let me just put this in a bracket so I can put this in one bracket the whole thing okay plus 16 over nine Okay, minus, oops, minus 243 plus 81. Close that bracket, and I've got to take away from that, and I'm going to have 4 fifths times 32 minus, or plus 4 minus 48 plus, plus 36. Close the bracket equals 746 over 45 746 over 45 which if you want you can write it in in proper fraction form which is 16 and 26 over 45 and they ask us to leave it in its exact form so there's no need for us to round this to 3SF we will lose marks if we do that we can leave it in this form okay so it says because the question does say if we go back to the original question it says find the exact area of R okay and there we have it that's the exact area of R and um, if you want to just make sure in your calculator that you've done the right thing it's possible for you to do that and I'll show you how and this is just purely used as a check it's not if you just write the answer down that you get from this calculator you won't get any marks for this question whatsoever okay so let's just write it exactly as it is so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the integral and I'll write this um, function in here so I'll put 2x now your x is here 2x and I'll just put it exactly as it is times root x okay minus um, 16 over x squared okay and then I'll put minus 6x and I'll put plus 9 close that bracket okay and then I'll put the limits 4 and 9. I'll press equals 
I get 746 over 45, which is exactly what we got here. 746 over 45. So that's used as a way for you to check that you've got the right answer. Okay, if you made a mistake, you'll be able to, it will show up. So it's very important that you don't just use this calculator to get the answer and write it down. You won't get any marks. This is just purely a, a way for us to be able to check that we've done the right thing. You haven't made a silly mistake somewhere. You've written the wrong number down or something. It's very easy to make silly mistakes in a question like this. Okay, so it's something that's uh, important for you to use as a check, but never use it, okay, without showing all these steps that I've shown that you've integrated all the terms, you've substituted things in the right place. Steps should be shown really very clearly in this type of question. Otherwise, you definitely, definitely will lose marks. Okay, thank you.